Apparently, this is the biggest Australian beauty cosmetics store in Australia so far. It is W Cosmetics and it is placed in Eastwood. So excited to go shopping. Let's go. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. I'm not gonna buy this, but apparently this is the brand that BTS uses, and I think this is really good for like hair loss. Check this out, it looks so pretty. I haven't even seen these brands before, they look so good. dry shampoo is really bad for you but I'm going to grab this one because it's like the viral dry shampoo so they don't just have a cosmetics area but they also have like this lane stuff as well I'm finally back and I'm ready to show you guys what I picked up from the store so to be honest I thought I was gonna buy more things but it was just so overwhelming because there was just so much cute things in the store and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh I want to buy it I want to buy it but I just want to buy the whole store but I took a step back and I was like okay breathe take a second to breathe let's not impulsive shop here let's just buy whatever I think that I'm actually gonna use and it's also pleasing to the eye so the first item that I picked up was a sunscreen spray I've never used like a sunscreen spray for my face before obviously like for my body but like I've never used it for my face so this will be the first time that I want to try this out to be honest I'm a bit scared because every time I use sunscreen it feels like my eyes start to burn the sunscreen spray was $18 so I just tried it out and actually felt very lightweight on my skin. Even though I was directly spraying on my skin, it didn't feel like my eyes were burning at all. And so when it comes to applying sunscreen on my face, I'm very lazy. So to make it convenient for me, that's why I always buy like sun sticks. And now in this case, buying more sunscreen sprays. The next product that we have is my Holy Grail dry shampoo. This is the one that went viral on Shang Shu. And all the girlies were using this. There were so many videos and like short form content where they were just spraying on the head and instantly Instantly, their hair went from like oily to not looking oily but in reality it doesn't go like that you would have to wait for a couple of minutes for it to actually work but either way this is still has been my holy grail shampoo I know dry shampoo is not good for your hair but at the same time it gets so hot here in Australia and because I have bangs now it does get so oily every time I get bangs it just gets so oily but this really does the job and it doesn't leave my hair feeling rough and tough in a way so this is the before What I also love about this as well is that it actually leaves my hair feeling nice and clean. I know all dry shampoos feel like that, but this one genuinely feels like you literally just took a shower. So the next product I picked up is the blush from 3CE and this is in the color New Take. I also have this one in a different shade. It's more of like a bubblegum shade in a way, but this one is more of like a peachy corally shade for the blush. And the blush was $16. And with this brand, I've actually never used it before. It's my first time hearing about this. But I believe it's called Folklore. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's a Chinese makeup brand, I think. The moment I picked up this eyeshadow palette, I was like, I need to get this right now. Because it looks so cute. And the colours is basically what I use are my go-to colours. I normally go for like neutral browns and warm browns. And also pink colours for my eye looks. So I'm like, I'm going to pick this up. And this eyeshadow palette went for $24. 
Then I also picked up another blush. This blush went for $8 and it looks so beautiful. Let's hope that it also looks nice on my skin as well. Etude House lip balm was $16 and this reminds me of the Laneige lip balm. If you compare it side by side, it looks really similar and also the applicator is the same as well. And as you can see, both lip balms had the same exact color. And what's even better about this is that Etude has the exact same moisture level, but obviously the Laneige has a little bit more moisturizing effect. And that is it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed watching content like this, then definitely give a subscribe, give it a like, and let me know in the comments down below. What type of makeup do you like buying? Be more of a blush girly, a lippy girly, or an eyes girly? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious. I want to get to know you guys better. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting my content. It means the world to me. I can't believe we hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!